Hi, I'm WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski. A cold start to the work week with temperatures below zero in parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, even Maine. Otherwise, we had the single digits in teens where we had clear skies. But down across the southeast with some more clouds, temperatures were in the 20s and 30s with some very gusty conditions. It's that onshore wind that also enhanced the cloud cover and could lead to some ocean effect snow showers. It's also adding a bit of a chill. So we're starting off with those feels like conditions in the teens and 20s. And we will see some improvement as the day goes on. But you'll notice the clouds really over much of eastern Massachusetts. Again, a radar not picking up on any flurries, but there is. Is that possibility. The good news is low pressure to our south will continue to pull away and high pressure building on in will relax the winds, allow them to shift in increasing sunshine. But right now, that wind gradient between them leading to that risk of some ocean effect uh, snow flurries out there for the coast and southeast mass. Highs today a little below the average into the low to middle 30s. We clear out, winds remain light, and tonight we fall back into the teens once again, 20s at the coast. So another cold start to your Tuesday, starting off with sunshine. In the afternoon, a few clouds developing, especially to the north, but temperatures will be in the mid 30s, right where we should be for this time of year. We bump it up on Wednesday ahead of a cold front. Should come through fairly dry, but can't rule out a stray flurry. Temperatures drop for your Thursday, so feeling very much like midwinter once again. And that will set the stage as our next system heads our way. May start off as some snow before changing to rain, as temperatures will jump close to 40 degrees. Should not be a big impact of a storm, but could create some slippery conditions for that Friday morning commute. So we'll be watching that closely. As we head towards the weekend, likely a bigger winter storm is in the works and the timing exact track still needs to be determined but it could have some potentially big impacts especially late Saturday through Sunday. In fact, what we'll be watching for is an offshore track less of an impact and that right now does not look like to be the case. However, if it tracks further north through parts of New England, We'll watch for heavy snow, especially across central or northern New England, with some rain and wind, especially across southeastern areas. But if it does track just offshore, that means heavier snow, wind, and just some slight mixing for parts of the Cape. A classic nor'easter could be setting up as we head into the later part of the seven day forecast. So, a lot to watch and monitor as we go on through the week, but at least we have pretty quiet conditions for the next couple of days.